All right, Bent Council joins me now. Councilor, thank you for joining us. Appreciate you taking the opportunity. Sure. Um, you said these things very vehemently, but not only do we not have proof of what you're suggesting, the authorities say otherwise. They say that the wife was not in town at the time and that they do not believe the wife was aware of what was going. What do you know that they don't? Well, several things I know. And they said that. I don't say now that they still say that. They said that at the very beginning of this investigation, but other things have developed. Uh, we have a, I have a witness, uh, a very credible witness, who I spent many hours with to interview. Uh, and from that witness, as well as from the circumstances of this case, I know that Mrs. Ellerup is conning the public right now with this press conference and the rest that she pulled off to say that she's in, in need of money. Uh, she is not. And furthermore, she is complicit in her husband's uh, solicitation and use of sex workers in his home over the course of years, many of them. And she, in this tiny little home where she lived and he lived, she was upstairs when he would be downstairs uh, having sex with these prostitutes. And uh, sp he spent enormous amounts of money on them. And it was a regular uh, thing that happened. And she's now, after 27 years of marriage, in the age of computers and cell phones, when you know where everybody is at all times, didn't know about what her husband was up to downstairs. That's just nonsense. There's two out of the three hairs that are found on the wrappings of the bodies are hers. That alone puts her in the circle of suspicion. And if the police come out and said, as they did, well, she had an alibi, well, maybe not once we start to study these cases a lot more carefully. But she was complicit, as you heard the me say. The forensic. Go ahead, sorry. I hear what you're saying, Counselor. I just, I just want, no, no, not at all. I just want to put some meat on the bones of this because it's, you know, it's, it's such a sensitive and damaging thing to say because, you know, you got uh, this family that may be as traumatized as anybody else. Uh, what I have heard from not just the uh, perspective of authorities, but the forensic experts is if he had uh, these victims in the house, it's not surprising that you would find DNA from the wife or hair from the wife. Uh, it's her house. Um, but how do you know that she was, as you say, complicit in his activity with sex workers? Who is this witness that you have who would know something like that? I have a witness who has refused to identify herself publicly at this time. Uh, she, I just spoke with her very recently, and she is a very, very credible witness. I say that from 40, I pull rank, I guess, is how I'm making the argument. I know that could be a fallacy, but it also could be truthful. And that is that uh, in my 41 years of experience as a trial attorney and litigator, I, I tested her using the usual test for truth, and she, she tested out fine. So I'm, I'm perfectly willing to share. When do the rest of us get to? Pardon me? When do the rest of us get to meet this person and test their credibility and what they have to offer? That's her choice. And she, right now, she's held me back from doing that. However, uh, you know, she does exist and she's real. And it, it stands to reason as well. It's what she tells me is completely consistent with the obvious. And it's the utterly improbable that she didn't know uh, about what his shenanigans right. were in that house for all those years. It's just ridiculous. And she's, all right, John Ray, she's out here. I appreciate, yep. I, I appreciate you making the case. Anytime you want to come on with her or offer anything else, obviously you should go to the authorities first. I'm not suggesting otherwise. Um, that's what matters most here. Uh, but you got a platform here to make the case. I've heard the accusation. I'd love to hear the proof, okay? Yeah, of course. And, and keep in mind that uh, she's raised forty four thousand dollars in her GoFundMe account. She's not a victim. She is not a victim, nor are her are, are the other two adults that live with her victims. The victims are, are, are well, all they, dead. Understood. But just because they weren't murdered doesn't mean they haven't been victimized by this situation. Their lives are colored forever for their connection to Rex Hewerman if these charges that. are sustained. All right, I got to jump uh, to be continued, to be continued, right. Mr. Ray. Uh, we'll speak again. All right.
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.